Is it a good event? It is a good event. You're gonna get a lot of great items. It's gonna save you a lot of time farming energy, uh, save you a lot of emeralds, spending that on energy. And uh, uh, you can, of course, get the new skins. If these three heroes are in your main lineups, then uh, go crazy. Go crazy. Uh, is it a fun event? It's an, it's an okay event. The story is good. I love the story personally, and uh, I'm very much looking forward to all of you discovering who the sea monster is, although you could probably guess at this point. But it's not there, there's not a ton of interactivity to it. It's just a basic event map. Only It's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central. In today's video, we're going to go over the depths of horror, the new skins, and all of that. Before we get into it, I got to tell you two things. First and foremost, I am writing a blog post over on HeroWarsCentral.com that's going to have all of this information, the, uh, the buyer's guide for the shop, the tasks, all of that. Important links to the blog and other calculators that I'm using in the video is in the description box down below. And uh, the second thing that I wanted to mention is that this... Out of the gate, there appears to be some kind of bug with the skin purchases. If you go into the little event place and you go to the uh, seat of the shop, there you go. So you can buy Anvari Soul Stones, you can buy the Anvari and Alvinor and Tristan Dark Depths skin for currency, but for whatever reason, you can see Dark Depths Alvinor, for whatever reason, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Tristan right here. Uh, Anvari, you can buy with skin stones. I don't know if this is a bug. I don't know if they did this intentionally because Anvari is the focus of this event, the Dark Depths event or Depths of Horror or whatever event. I would imagine that they're probably going to fix this. So if you really want the Anvari skin uh, and you can afford the skin stones, I really don't necessarily want the Anvari skin too much. But it's going to save me a couple of bucks to uh, to buy it now. So I'm going to go ahead and grab it just to see what happens whenever I do for, you know, for the for the science of it all. Let's see. Unlock. Buy. There we go. Okay. Yeah. So I have it. No big deal. It's crazy. Now, the next question then is, is are these skins going to be available, uh, you know, after the event ends? It's hard to say. They don't really do limited time skins on Hero Wars Dominion era. Uh, aside from the Winterfest skins, the Summer uh, summer Season skins, and the, um, the Stellar skins from like a year or two ago or whatever it was, it could be the case that they're going to delay release of this skin for purchase for a while. So if any three of these skins are something that you would deem necessary, I would say that the armor for Anvari is hugely beneficial. I know a lot of people use Anvari for tanking, so I, I, I think that's probably the most important of the three. The armor for Tristan, I'm not sure. We're going to do some testing today and over the weekend. Same thing with Alvinor. This is a, uh, a longer event. I believe it's a seven-day event. Yeah, it's a seven-day event. Basically, you complete these tasks. You get these wicked journals. You take the wicked journals to this event map right here, and you do the various little fights to get currency. You get the currency. Once you get the currency, then you can take it to the shop, and you can buy your stuff. The Restless Souls box, let's see, tells us what soul stones are in here. Here. This would be a good thing to purchase if you're going to save up, uh, if you're trying to save up some soul stones or if you're trying to get any of these specific heroes and you don't want to spend the resources elsewhere. Uh, all of these heroes are definitely usable. Uh, you know, I use Kark every day. Phobos is great versus Osh and for countering Dante. Satori is great for countering Dante. Sebastian's one of the best uh, support heroes in the game. Morgan, one of the best support heroes in the game. Corvus, one of the best tanks in the game. Alvinor and Tristan. Alvinor is really good versus Osh. Tristan, still trying to find a home for. And Anvari is just a great all-around tank, off-tank, damage dealer, stunner. Great, great hero. Now, as far as what you should buy from the Dark Depths store, everybody's... Uh, oh, it looks like you could purchase the old skins as well. Very cool. Huh. Looks like you could purchase the old skins as well. I don't know why you would just spend 5,000 skin stones on it. Thanks to Calorie Fair once again for providing us this spreadsheet. Again, this will be on my website. Basically says that the, the most valuable item, excuse me, is the Dark Depths box. That is the uh, 38.7 emeralds per coin. But with the randomness... It's hard to say. Pretty good emerald wise if you want them. Assumes 5,000 skin stones value. Yeah. I, you know, it's it's hard to say. It's hard to say. Aside from that, everything else seems to be pretty well uh, breaking even. This uh, These emerald values are based on uh, emerald values from Hero Wars Guide. Oh, I'm not doing full screen. There we go. Uh, the All these items down here, apparently they're all 32 emeralds per 100 coins each. 
So all equally good deals, just buy the ones you need most. One of that has the least opportunity for double dipping for you. Yeah, I, I think that there's probably some that are going to be better in here than for others. The throwing knives are super important. Haruni and Helm, I know, is something all people always chase all the time. Um, the lycanthrope fangs. Honorable mention, not as good as a deal below, but at some point you, you get tired of firing them. I mean, you know, there, you need a ton of lycanthrope fangs, but uh, I don't know. It still says it's a 32, and these are 32 also, so I'm not sure why this is a single X and these aren't. I, you know, maybe somebody can let me know in the comment section down below. But again, the uh, the spreadsheet, that's going to be in the, uh, in the description box down below as well as over on my blog page. Now, as far as an event task breakdown, as far as breakpoints and which tasks are most important, uh, you know, there is going to be a lot of time to complete a lot of these tasks. Seven days is really a lot of time to complete, you know, a majority of these things. You can take a look at them yourself. No need to go over them all individually. None of them reset or repeat. It's worth noting. And uh, Hero Wars Guide has not quite updated their website yet with the with the breakpoints and, and all of that. But I will include a link to their website in the description as well because that will be beneficial when they do finish that and uh, and figure that information out. The basic gameplay loop is like this though. You do these tasks, you collect the wicked journals, you go in here, you do these little fights to battle, that's fine. You check out the little story, Gravel Before It's Might, come uh, lotly, the tide is rising. This is the same exact story as last time. Basically, they're trying to awaken a deep sea monster and eventually you're gonna have to fight the deep sea monster, right? So I'm, not, I'm just gonna click through this so you guys can you guys can, you know, do that all on your own. We're gonna, we're just gonna throw in LOL Ash with uh, Astaroth instead of Nebula. Let's see, where's my Martha? There's Martha, Sebastian, sure, boom. Whoops, Astaroth, that's fine. Mara, Fenris, Albus, Axel, boom. Good all around team for events like this. Can you skip it? No, you can't, but we just one shot it. Yeah, I don't know the difficulty level of the bosses. I'm level. I've been level 130 for all my heroes for a very long time, so it's uh, it's hard to say what the power level is going in. I know it matches your power level to an extent, but I don't know if it matches your best team or your team level. Once you've completed it, then you can rate it for additional currency. Uh, there is no change in currency day to day. It's always going to be 1500. So you might as well spend as many as you can. You want to at least save up so you have six for tomorrow's event. And, uh, and away you go. Now, all over the map here, you have daily quests that are super simple to complete, and you're going to complete them just by doing regular tasks in the game anyway. Begin expeditions. Everybody's going to do expeditions. Most people do Emerald Exchange every day. Most people level up Gift of the Elements every day. Most people spend, you know, 500 Tower Coins each day. Uh, we'll go ahead and boom. There we go. And you collect these books, you fight the boss, you go through the story, you spin the coins. That's the basic gameplay loop. Now at the end of the event, everything is going to convert over to these sunken chests. The sunken chests, like I mentioned previously, are, you know, what are the highest rated items in the in the shop. Here are some of the items that you can get out of the sunken chests. This is the Hero Wars Wikipedia page, again, linked in the description and on the, on the blog page. Uh, more sunken chests, a 40% chance to get more sunken chests. Bottled energy, chaos cores, runes, XP potions, artifact chests, gold. There's an avatar in here, but you know, I don't know if it's the same avatar as before. Uh, you know, I, I guess I guess we'll see. We'll see the gallery. See what? See if we can see the avatars. Oh, here are the avatars. I guess. Yeah, these four, I guess, and the three fish heads. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we will be live streaming later on this evening. That's 8.30 p.m. Central Time. That is about 12 hours from the recording of this video, 1.30 a.m. UTC. Hope everybody's having a great Thursday. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.